Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Scott from Successful Small Service Contracting, and I really appreciate you being here. If you uh, if this is the first time you've been here, thanks for being here. Welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. You know, it hit me the other day that really our clients are our trust fund. Okay, they are the ones that are packing that bad boy full. Okay. And you always have to look at what you can do to keep the client to service provider relationship alive and well in your dealings with your clients, okay? Building trust creates client relationships that stick and are hard to be wooed away just by price alone. That said, fair, not cheap pricing and high levels of service is critical for this, okay? When your clients believe that you are that they are paying a fair price for the service that they receive, this carries a great weight in the trust that they give you. Obviously, you have to earn your clients' respect and trust. Many service and contracting business owners think this takes years. And really, in reality, it starts to build from the first experience with the client. Or not. <laughs> you know, Find opportunities that strengthen that and deepen the service provider client trust bond so that your clients will feel comfortable every time they see you for their service or contracting needs. So that they'll think of you even when they don't need you. So that they think of you when their friends or family need your services. What do successful service and contracting companies do to provide the ultimate client experience? It's simple. Service that wows your clients every time you walk through the door. From the first phone call to your business to the time you walk out of their home or office, your clients should be thinking what a pleasure it has been work to work with you. Thinking how much different your service and your demeanor is compared to the last service or contracting provider gave to them. It's called being a contractorpreneur, okay? I have a video that describes the elusive contractorpreneur, and I'll leave a link in it in the description above the comments if you haven't seen it. Look for the opportunities to build trust with your clients, which mostly comes from doing what you say you will exactly. Put yourself in your client's shoes and try to envision how you would how they would see you as you deal with them throughout the service or contracting process. Are you and your procedures easy to deal with? Are you able to pivot when the situation arises to address a different situation to your service than normal to accommodate their client? Still in your client's shoes, did you call and confirm the appointment hours prior to the scheduled time? Did you greet the client by their name and shake their hand? Did you put shoe covers on your boots and put them on anyway, even when they said, don't worry about it? Did you listen intently about their problem that they want you to fix and ask questions to help you uh, better them, to help them better? Did you listen intently about their problem that they want to have fixed and ask questions to help you to help them better? Did you complete the service 100%? Did you perform the service to the best of your ability, even if you're having a bad day? Clients who trust that you understand what they need and you know what really matters to them, help them achieve their goals and that you always have their best interest in mind are clients that will stay with you through thick and thin. Without trust, all hopes for client retention and referrals are lost and this couldn't be more important in the service and contracting business. Make building trust in you and your services a priority every day. Encourage client feedback on your services because trust is a two-way street. Showing trust in your client's judgment is also very important. Ask if there's anything else that you could be doing to better serve them. Let them know how important their feedback is to you and you'll covet their advice and their comments. In closing, while it certainly isn't all about the money, hey, they pay you, let's face it. Realistically, money is why you're there. To be paid for the services you professionally provide for them that either they can't do or won't do for themselves. Your client's trust is your main asset and thus becomes your trust fund securing your lifestyle and retirement. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much. I am so glad we could spend some time together here today. Thanks for being here. Can you do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe, please? Let me know how I can uh, help you in any way. All you got to do is just contact me, scott at contractpreneur.com, and I'll see you next time. Take care.